<sighs> there has to be something in here I can use. Hobbs said something about rags before disappearing. I have a really bad feeling about this. There must be something about this other dimension in here. I haven't heard from her in a while. Hmm. Maybe... Whipster! It's me, Raggedy Ancy! Rags! What are you doing? You nearly scared me to death! Well, if I was mortal, that is. You can't just pop in on an old puck like that. I'm glad to hear from you, though. Honestly, I was a bit worried. Yes, I know I've been quiet for a bit. It, it's all fine. I've just been doing this, uh, this usual sewing new parts, you know, and doing some uh, uh, reading, of course. But I sure could use your help. You know I'm always here to help you. You helped me get out of that hellish underworld. Puck always pays his debts. What can I do for you, my dear? Right, right, good times, of course. The truth is, I could really use you closer right now. My book, it's been malfunctioning. I can't get it to work without it uh, tearing me up more than usual. But I know that the more powerful beings by my side, it won't be so bad. So what do you say? Wanna help me out, old pal? Hmm. That book was bound with your thread sewing it together. You're what keeps the book together. Why would it be tearing you apart? It's a part of you. Is there something more going on? Just what kind of spell are you trying to cast that uses so much power? Right. I, it was just that one that was uh, holding a, um, a, a door open, that's all. A door? Hmm. Of course! I would love to help you. I'm surprised you didn't ask Boogie first, though. After all, he helped you make that book back when you were dating. If anybody would be able to help fix it, he would, instead of just supplementing power. Oh, right, Boogie, of course. But as much as I would love to reach out to him and tell him that, um, uh, I'm sorry, I figured that it would be a lot easier for me to reach out to you. Besides, I'll be happy to see him once I open up the dimension and let him come through to visit. <laughs> I see. Okay, Rags. I would be happy to help you. I would be happy to help... Banish you. You are not my Rags. Who are you? Rags would never have dated Boogie. She was always creeped out from him peeping on her through the closet and under the bed. He's the reason she slept with scissors under her pillow. Huh. So that's what these are for. It also explains why I haven't read about him in any of her letters. Damn, Hobbs. I knew that it would be smart of him to weaken you, but clearly it hasn't made you any dumber than you look. You watch yourself, Rude. Rags told me about you. Her little pin pal from Hobbs' dimension. I warned her that talking to you would bring nothing good. So let me guess. You and Hobbs want our power, is that it? Yeah. He may have weakened me a bit, but I'm still more than enough to deal with a cheap knockoff of rags. If you were as powerful as the real rags, I would have something to worry about. But coming from your powerless dimension? <laughs> That's a joke not even a quipster would make. <laughs> you don't know the half of me and Hobbs, do you? You don't know anything about the kinds of monsters we are, and the less you know, the better it will be for your health power. It's not good for a jokester like yourself to get all serious like this. Who knows? You might even pose a threat sometime. I intend to bring Hobbs back, but don't worry, you and that silly ungrateful princess aren't our targets. You were more like obstacles that have gotten in our way. You should be grateful we didn't lock you both in iron boxes and buried you alive. Though, 
I'm still strong enough for that to be arranged. Or your helpers, better yet. Let me ask you something, Quipster. If you don't know where Anzi is, how long will it take for you to realize that your helpers have gone missing? From what I hear, Hobbs has been looking for a way to punish his own for abandoning him. You soulless beast! Maybe if Hobbs hadn't treated her like a slave, and more like a companion, what a helper is actually supposed to be, she wouldn't have turned on him. I swear to God, if anything happens to my helpers, I will personally use your own sinew to sew your mouth shut. Good luck eating heaps of peanut butter when you can't even open that big, boastful mouth of yours. Leave them out of this? And I will consider helping you. But first, what have you done with rags? Why bother saying? Though, I suppose it's fun to see you squirm. She's back home, safe and sound, for now. You see, what's fun about being me is that once I jump to a different dimension, I can then go back and forth to it as I please. I can pull her in and out of any dimension of my choosing. If you think you can truly protect both of your little companions, as you so eagerly call them, along with your friend, then truly you are the bigger entity. But I don't think you can. I won't mix further words with you, Quip. Either you stick by me and allow me to feed off of you, or... One of the three will suffer at my mercy for an extended period of time. How could such a spiteful little being have gotten the best of rags? There is no way she could have done this alone. For now, I'll have to play this game. But I need to make sure they are safe. How? Ah. I'll send them to the one being I know nobody will want to mess with, including this arrogant copycat. There's no way she could get past a reaper. Eh? Reaper. Reaper, my dear friend. Oh. Hello there, Puck, my demon buddy. What can I, the Grim Reaper, master the forces of life and death do for you? Sorry for calling you on the crystal, but it's a bit of an emergency. And I couldn't have somebody listening in. I need to ask you a favor, my dear friend. Would you mind watching my little helpers for a while? I promise you. They're excellent at catching cats, and I know how much you enjoy a good snack. Well, Puck, you know I can't say no to a cat, no matter what condition it's in. But please, tell me what's eating away at your soulless existence. Well, you see, it seems Hobbs wasn't alone. Rune has done something with Anzi and is threatening to harm her and my little helper. If I don't let her feed off my power, I need to ensure they are safe. So I may deal with this pest. Rune won't get away with this. This looks like a job for the Grim Reaper. I appreciate the offer, my friend. I know that you can easily dispatch her. Not many can rival the power of a Reaper. Which is why I would like you to watch them. I have no doubt I could handle her one-on-one. -on -one. However, she has Anzi trapped. And I have a strong feeling there is more to this situation than meets the eye. She mentioned something about holding a door open. I need to find out her plan. And assist our favorite rag doll before dealing with her. Very well, Puck. We'll do it your way. Thank you very much. If you weren't all bones, I'd say you have a heart of gold. I will keep in touch, my friend. For now, enjoy the help getting some good meals. Take care, my friend, and good luck to you. Now where did I put my cauldron? I've got a meal to prepare, and I think I'm in the mood for cat gut stew.